Back in the 1950s, drive-in restaurants were a big hit. A drive-in restaurant was a unique way of service where customers park their vehicles and are usually served by staff who walk out to take orders and return to food, encouraging diners to remain parked while they eat. Unfortunately, drive-in restaurants faded around the 1970s due to the invention of drivers. Although, there is one drive-in restaurant that is well known to the Grays Lake community, known as Dog and Sucks. Dog and Sucks was a friendly place for teens and families to enjoy a delicious meal either in their vehicle or out on the picnic tables. It all started beginning back in 1953 in Champaign, Illinois, when two music teachers, Don Hamacher and Jim Griggs, opened the hot dog and root beer stand. They first created an office located in Jim Griggs' basement. At first, the small business sold only corn dogs and root beer. As music teachers, they had their own students to work as car hoppers. It became so successful that they earned $300 the first day. With this success in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, Dog and Suds grew to a point where it was one of the most successful fast food franchises in the country. By the mid-1970s, Dog and Suds had grown to the extent that almost 400 units were in operation, which were located in 38 states and Canada. During its glory days, Dog and Suds were opening an average of 15 new restaurants each month. It became so famous that Ray Nitsch of the Green Bay Packers spoke at their 1964 Dog and Suds convention, as well as a baseball hero named Bob Pollock. As Dog and Suds' popularity increased, Hamacher and Griggs traveled worldwide for restaurant conventions. At their conventions, they realized they were in for a national, regional, competitive fast food chain. This meant that other franchises like McDonald's became more popular, causing Dog and Suds to eliminate most of the field service staff and headquarters, managing necessary to provide field support and guidance, as well as the promotional support necessary to remain competitive in a rapidly growing fast food restaurant field. Sadly, Dog and Suds went downhill from 400 units to only 14. The remaining locations are four in Illinois, one in Arkansas, three in Indiana, two in Michigan, one in Missouri, one in Ohio, one in Wisconsin, and one in Canada. Although the businesses went downhill, Dog and Suds remains as a favorite restaurant. Do you remember the first time you went to Dog and Suds? I remember the first time. Um, not necessarily like the first time, but I remember going there with my dad after soccer games. Um, and that was always his in to talk to me about how I did, right? He's like, if I give you a root beer and if I buy your, I buy you lunch, if you have a hot dog, um, then let's talk about all the things that we need to improve upon. So um, that was always somewhere that my dad and I went and we were able to talk. What's your dog and studs mean to you? Um, more than anything, I think it's working with the people that I work with. I have a very personal relationship with not only my boss, uh, but all my coworkers I know some of them beforehand, some of them after. I still have a pretty good uh, friendship with them, but it, it means a decent amount of, to me, the friendships I've built here. How do you like What was a favorite memory at Dog and Suds? I'm not sure it was Dog and Suds, but I remember one time a bellhop, because they used both girls and boys. Some of the places, they were on roller skates, some were not. Some they walked. He dumped the whole tray on me with two big, large Cokes. <laughs> Now, if you want to call it a favorite memory, it was the most memorable. I could remember it. What does Dog and Suds mean to you? You know, it was a meeting place where, in my day, all the cool cars came there. You know, you got a chance to meet girls and everything else. So it basically was a meeting place. Forget the food. That was always secondary. The Grays Lake Dog and Suds has been open since 1964. The original owner of the Grays Lake Dog and Suds was Chris Becker, who owned the business for the first 19 years out of the 53 years Dog and Suds has been open. Grays Lake Dog and Suds was a friendly and welcoming environment. Becker knows that some of his older generation of customers visit the diner to reminisce about a first date or past times, but his younger generation customers' base is not just looking for a unique spot to eat, they're looking for food they truly enjoy. This year marks the 53rd anniversary of Grayswood Dog and Sets. To celebrate, the eatery adds a special combo menu for that anniversary.